Why is training so important for repairing aluminum? We're going to find out next. For a complete, safe, and quality repair, it's vitally important to understand the vast considerations involved when repairing aluminum. First, it's critical to know that various OEMs have different rules and repair procedures when working with aluminum. Just because you're trained or certified with a particular OEM does not mean those same considerations can cross over to another. Aluminum, like steel, has different grades and characteristics that determine strength and repairability. Aluminum is graded in seven different series, so knowing what series you're working with is important when determining repair plans and procedures. When working with aluminum, things to consider during repairs are galvanic corrosion and cross-contamination. It's critical to keep steel and aluminum parts separated during a repair to avoid any particulate contact between an exposed bare metal body panel in the surrounding area. For this reason, you should use a separate designated room for any and all aluminum repairs. Along with a designated space and area, aluminum dust extractors and separate welding equipment, you must also have a separate set of hand and power tools to avoid cross-contamination, including, but not limited to, different gloves, sandpaper, saw blades, grinders, and grinding discs. When repairing dents on an aluminum panel, the first choice of repair method should be the use of glue-on pull tabs. If this doesn't work, try paintless dent repair methods. Apply low heat onto the repair area as recommended per the automaker's allowable heat range standard. As you apply low heat to the repair area along with the use of body picks and plastic coated tips, push the dent out from the backside of the panel. While straightening, the goal is to leave as much of the top coat intact preventing any unwanted exposure or contamination to an aluminum panel. If a filler is needed to complete the repair, block down the top coat no further than the epoxy primer. You can then use a two-part finishing filler designed to adhere over the top of an OEM finish to complete the repair. If the dent is larger, the use of weld-on tabs may be necessary. However, some OEMs do not recommend the use of weld-on tabs and you must be careful not to tear holes in the panel. What about structural realignment? Should any aluminum structural part on an aluminum vehicle or a mixed material structure be pulled out on a frame machine? It should be unanchored pulling only, using only the weight of the vehicle. Anything more than this can risk separation of unseen, unnoticed internal bonded panels and adhesives that could result in additional problems down the road, such as squeaks, rattles, and the risk of creating structural strength and safety issues which could be irreversible or unrepairable. Here's a to-do list before you work on aluminum. Get trained. ICAR offers a specific hands-on skill development course in aluminum panel dent repair. Practice. If you want to be a professional, you need to practice. You can destroy a panel if you don't know what you're doing. Be patient. It will take some time to become competent in straightening aluminum. Always refer to the OEM repair procedures for a specific vehicle and know what series of aluminum you're working with. I'm Jason Stahl, thanks for watching.